What's going on guys? Kevin here, back with another banger video. Uh, today is going to be part two of my Consortium Cup series. Um, I did a video on the Kashina Sambas that released overseas and today I'm going to be talking about something that was released stateside which is the Samba by the store Nice Kicks. So Nice Kicks is a sneaker store. I believe they have um, a few in Texas and then a few of them in California. There's actually one in the San Francisco area by me. Um, they did win an amazing pair of Sambas or they made an amazing pair of Sambas. Um, something that I've noticed with all of the consortium cut pairs is that they all come in this very, very nice lift top box and the size tag right here, nice kicks Samba. And on the other side, there is a seal of, I guess, authenticity. It's basically just a sticker. Lifting up the box. Like I mentioned in the Kashina video, these boxes are very sturdy. Whenever I got them shipped, they wrapped the box in a cardboard so that the box itself won't get damaged. Although I'm sure it might still get damaged, but it protects most of it at least. These are um, the inside. It just has Adidas Consortium Cup, nothing else in particular, but the shoes themselves are great. So they come with a few extra little goodies. I'll talk about that in a second, but here are these shoes. So let's talk about the inspiration of the Nice Kicks Samba. Has that rubberized consortium cup keychain. Comes with actually rope laces, which I thought was interesting for a Samba. They come with a white one as well as one that's like almost like a grayish cream that matches the tumbled upper. Now talking about the inspiration, this is actually inspired by incense. So as you can see, the three stripes, it has, it's a clear layer with a fabric backing and it has that sort of smoky incense where it's like a Palo Santo on the sole and then it's like smoking up with the incense and sort of fragrance of it. I thought that was really cool. And another thing that you can note that you'll see on promotional materials, but on my pair, it's not as noticeable is that there is a fabric backing on almost all the panels and the more you wear them the more frayed they become and then they kind of fray out you can see that there's like a thin fabric lining all throughout there and then the more you wear it like i mentioned the more customized and the more individual your pair is going to look um, so starting on the outside nice kicks stamped right there pretty honestly pretty thick tumbled leather, um, not necessarily the softest that I've seen, but you can definitely see there is a decent amount of creasing that happens. Uh, that same consortium uh, metal eyelet that we saw on the Kashina pair. And the tongue is actually quite interesting as one side says Adidas, the other one says Nice Kicks, uh, as well as it has some tumble leather detail or crackle leather detail, excuse me. As you can kind of see, it's a very, very thick tongue as well. The toe box is a very, very nice way. This is honestly amazing, really, for $130. The same suede that was on the toe is also on this back heel tab. Uh, the inner lining is all lined with leather right there. Same with the tongue. The tongue is lined with leather. The insole is Consortium Cup Adidas. Again, that whole uh, sort of incense sort of vibe. Same thing we saw on the Kashina. These are rubberized. So that makes me think that uh, the Consortium Cup logo will just be rubberized on every single pair. Let's swap to the other shoe because there are some details. It says nice kicks on the tongue behind that sort of rough crackled leather same old same old 
and the insole right there. Very, very nice insole. Um, I don't think that this will rub off because it's actually printed onto it, not a screen print, but the fabric itself is printed. Uh, so it doesn't look like it'll scratch off at all whatsoever, which is great because honestly, I can't tell you how many times I wear shoes and the insole just rubs off on first wear. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. The lace tips also say nice kicks. And yeah, just a very, very clean pair of sneakers. Um, such a daily driver sort of sneaker where um, if people are curious and they have a bit more of like a um, trained eye or that they know sneakers, they'll be like, oh, that's the nice kick Samba. If you don't and you just want a high quality pair of Sambas, you can wear this and just go about your day and it'll be just as great. Again, one of the cool defining features about this is that rope lace, which I thought was a really cool differentiation between the other shoes, just because a lot of them are that flat styled lace. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful pairs. Again, daily driver sort of material. So what do you guys think of the Adidas uh, Consortium Cup Nice Kicks Samba? Do you guys like it versus the other pairs that are out there? Um, I know that for me, the Nice Kicks, the Kashina, the End, and the Offspring are probably on my like top list for Sambas and just really shoes of the year just because the material quality on these pairs are exceptional, especially. So I did do a review of the Sporty and Rich Sambas and if you compare those to these or even the End or the Offspring Sambas, it's not even gonna be close. The, the Sporty and Rich Sambas honestly feel like a little bit more premium than the GR, but nothing too crazy. These guys feel premium. They feel like a notch above the rest. So keep that in mind. They're all $130 if I remember correctly. And yeah, fantastic, fantastic pair of Sambas. So let me know what you guys think and I will do an on feet. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.